This section heading is called Obtaining System Information. What we're going to do in this section is we're going to perform error-based SQL injection attacks. We're doing this so that we can view system information generated within the errors. Now if we go inside of the exploits directory and then inside of lab 3, if you open up that file, you're going to find what we're going to supply to the username input field. Now the way that this is going to work is as follows. So this whole thing at a high level is basically going to generate an intentional error. So let me kind of dive a little down deeper and explain how it works. So the extract value function is typically used to extract a value from an XML string using XPath notation. However, what we're going to use it for here is to obtain system information that's going to be generated in errors. Now this 03 over here, the 03A, it's going to ensure that those errors do get generated and then the concat function is going to be used to extract a string. So the string that we're looking to extract is what we're, is the result of this query. So this query over here is trying to select the current database that's in use and that's site auth. So inside of that string we should see the value site auth. So now before we supply this to the username input field, let's cover like what you're going to be doing for your pen testing assignment. So for your pen testing assignment, you're going to see what other system information that you can obtain using error-based SQL injections. So other things that might be more fruitful besides, say, a database name might be access to a system and, and so forth. So see what information that you can get. Now you can use this as a template or you can go out and do research and find other ways that errors can be generated intentionally. So now in any event, let's see how this works. So I'm going to copy this out and then I'm going to supply this, as I said, to the username input field. And paste, hit enter. So here we can see the error got generated and then inside of that error, we find exactly what we said. The database name, site auth. 